time for a recap this is our recap 5 and we would like to assess our performance so far especially your performance in terms of learning about islamic modes of financing and their applications in the context of islamic banking and finance as you know that we have a quiz in this module and the previous modules on the recaps this module would have this question question is uh, on sukuk istisna and i would request you to write down your answer so that you are able to see for yourself whether you were right in your choice or you picked up a wrong answer remember this is only for you and you must do it you should be type a student i.e the one who would like to read the question carefully and pick up an answer based on your understanding right the question is a sukuk istisna a is also called forward lease sukuk b usually involves use of a forward lease contract c is used for agricultural projects d a sukuk istisna and sukuk salam are one and the same thing what is your answer please write it down and don't become a type b student don't google it now i am going to think about this one a b c d i know for sure that there is a forward lease contract used in a lot of istisna based sukuk so i'm confused between a and b is it possible that a sukuk istisna is also known as a forward lease sukuk c is used for agricultural projects d and sukuk salam are one and the same thing i am inclined to pick b and let us see if this is the correct answer b is the correct answer because normally we find the use of what is known as ijara mausufa fi dhimma which is the arabic term for a forward lease contract remember when we discussed the sukuk istisna we said that to generate frequent returns for the sukuk investors we have to employ a technique based on a forward lease contract between the obligor and the issuer this is uh, normally the case in most of the sukuk istisna structures although it is quite pos possible that in some sukuk istisna this forward lease contract is not used and that happens when the sukuk investors do not emphasize upon receiving frequent returns on a monthly basis quarterly basis six monthly basis or annual basis rather they would like to have their return at the end of the financing period so b is the correct answer a is wrong because uh, sukuk istisna has never been called a forward lease sukuk although as i said a forward lease contract is 
frequently used in the structure of uh, Sukuk Istisna, but it has not been named as such. C is also wrong because Sukuk Istisna, as we mentioned in our previous module, Sukuk Istisna is used for the projects related with construction, manufacturing, and activities of this sort. Sukuk Istisna has not been used in any agricultural project. And D is also wrong because Salam Sukuk is a completely different structure from a Sukuk Istisna. Salam Sukuk is used for liquidity management by Islamic banks and other Islamic financial institutions. So, the right answer of this quiz is B.